Hello everyone, Josh Doris DJ here with a quick video on how to use your K8 speaker for a ceremony or a cocktail hour. To connect your media such as an iPad, you'll need an 8th inch to RCA Y cable, like this one. On the back of your K8, find the RCA input and after picking up your cables, connect them securely. I personally like to use Pyro, a media player developed by the creators of Serato, as you can see here. And here you can see my reusable Velcro strip. This is the wireless handheld Shure PG58 and the receiver is the PG4. For this setup I like to use this 24 inches long quarter inch on balance cable. Up to this point both the receiver and the K8 have no power. Once you hear that pop you have correctly connected the on balance cable. Switch the input from line to mic and the low frequency to normal. For most ceremonies, vocal boost is not needed, so you can leave it on flat. After making sure both gain A and gain B are on zero, you may power up your speaker and your microphone. After pressing the power button on the K8, it will take a few seconds for the lights to come up. This is totally normal. You should see the mic input light come on and also the signal light and the power on light which is blue. Now you can slowly increase the volume on that microphone input. Testing one, two. And so we have successfully connected the Shure wireless mic to our K8 speaker. And now for the music, I recommend having your device a little bit less than half in the volume and have it playing before you go on and try to raise that volume. And we can still use the microphone feature at the same time. And this is how you can connect the K8 speaker and an iPad with music all together. Now, after everything is connected, we're going to use this Velcro to tidy things up, make sure that receiver doesn't fall off the speaker. We connect it on the top with the handle. Everything looks good over here and then you can just run that power cable down and use more velcro at your tripod. These pictures with different angles should show you what it looks like once it is all connected and done. So thanks again for watching I hope this was helpful in showing the versatility of the QSC K family speakers. Let me know what you think in the comments or any questions about this setup.